Welcome to Notification Squad, the show that takes the people behind Channel Fred Raider, puts them in front of the camera to read your comments. My name is Kate. I'm Melissa, and... I'm Justin. Justin! Justin, a.k.a. Stuff with Scout Fly, yep. a.k.a. Captain Washburn, a.k.a. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> Needs no introduction, I guess. I guess not. A.k.a. Cartoon Conspiracy Host. That's true. I do right. those. I well, do welcome those. to the show. We are so happy to have you. A highly anticipated guest. I say that every episode, but it's true. <laughs> every guest. It's true. Every guest is highly anticipated. A lot of you probably recognize this guy from the round the YouTubes and especially Cartoon Conspiracy. The yeah, YouTubes. maybe. Yeah. I do videos. Yeah, got you my do? own channel. It's pretty cool. Some cartoon videos. Yeah. Yeah. So how often do you upload to your channel? Uh, my goal is two times a week. But you want to make it seven times a week. Oh yeah. That's true. <laughs> I, would, I would probably the die. The real yeah. true goal. Maybe yeah. someday, huh? Maybe yeah. Someday. Maybe someday. Pre-record with, like a billion of them. Yeah. <laughs> with what I do on my channel and then stuff on Frederick, I'm always pretty busy though. <laughs> Super busy. Yeah. We're all busy. Yeah. Like, it's amazing that we have time to just sit here and talk about cartoons. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> Speaking of our topic of discussion of the week, what is your favorite cartoon video game? This one's kind of tricky. There's a lot of cartoon video games out yes. there. Yes. Mm. So wait, this is a video game that is based on a cartoon. Yeah. yeah. Like they like made a licensed like cartoon. Yeah, yeah, like an adventure mm -hmm. that you can play. Your, exactly. Play. Yeah, it's like you're playing the show. I have an answer already. Yeah, me too. It me too. is Simpsons Road Rage. Mm. Oh, that's that's yeah. a classic one. Yeah. And I played it before I played Crazy Taxi, and okay. I had no idea that it was based <laughs> yeah. on Crazy Taxi. <laughs> Yeah. I just like the idea of like just driving around Springfield, you know, and mm -hmm. I thought that was really cool. And you could like go like to like Moe's and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it was made at a very interesting time because uh, it wasn't really when The Simpsons was too new, but it True. wasn't like going on for as long as it has. Yeah, so it was a really interesting kind of like snapshot in time. When I was little, I was, I loved to play the Game Boy Color all mm -hmm. the time. Ooh, good, and good so console. one of my favorites was like a Tom and Jerry Game Boy Color game. I used to be obsessed with it. Like you can either play as Tom or Jerry and you collected mice and you put them in like a spot, mm -hmm. and then you had to race around the room. Mm. Uh, oh, Tom and Jerry Mouse Hunt. That's what it was. Oh, Mouse Hunt. Okay, yes. this one. Cool. Yeah. Only for Game Boy Color. Yeah. Oh, it's an exclusive. exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was just obsessed with that. I remember constantly playing it, and then I would cool. lose, and then you have to go back to the beginning unless mm -hmm. you remembered the codes. <laughs> right. Did you guys ever play War of the Whiskers? It was on PS2, GameCube, no. and maybe War of the Whiskers. It's like Smash Brothers, but in a 3D environment with Tom and Jerry. Oh my god. It's really <laughs> weird. What? It's kind of rare, I think, maybe now. I think it goes for at least Literally 30, 40 on eBay. Never oh, heard of it. Rated T for teen. Yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty edgy. So that's your answer. <laughs> I would say, yeah, it's one of the best ones, yeah. Oh, Adrian has yeah. Adrian, Game Boy Advance. Adrian oh. gasped. Battle for, for Bikini Bottom. Oh my god! Yep. Wait, I was replaying yeah, that. Game was yep. really good too. Yes. I was replaying that. Games? Oh, they're so good. Yeah. Battle for the This Bikini was on Game Boy. Bottom? Oh yeah, this, this is on, amazing. I had this yes. for GameCube. For Nintendo GameCube. Really? Yep. These SpongeBob games are actually made by a studio called Heavy Iron. Okay. And they made Battle for Bikini Bottom. Uh -huh. They made the movie game. They made um uh, they made a few SpongeBob other SpongeBob video oh, game yep. They also made Truth or Square. Very good Ooh, games. Wow. You wouldn't expect. They're very similar to Jack and Dash. So Bastard. should we? So should we have a 107 SpongeBob video game facts? I could do it. Oh uh, probably. <laughs> I could do it. Yeah. So Justin, what is your favorite video game? I have two. The first one is a game that came out in 2014. I was waiting so long for it. It's called South Park: The Sick of Truth. Oh yeah. It's legend. It's so good. It's just taking South Park, everything you know from it, mm -hmm. and just putting it in a video game, and it is the South Park game I always wanted, because back in the day, we got Chef's Love Shack, we uh -huh. got South Park Rally, uh -huh. and a few Xbox Live Arcade games, but they were just never of the caliber of the Sick of Truth. Right. Like, it's like it's a just movie. Like it's a like show. a movie yeah. or the it's show. Like a full it's, season. It's beautifully um, animated, too. And then there's also another game called uh, Rugrats Search for Reptar on the PS1. Wait. Yep. And it's very, very. I, I really like it. My friend Pizza actually uh, introduced me to it, um, and it's it's just like you're playing oh, wow. a show, but you kind of have to bring yourself back to when it was released. And it's a really good game. There's a lot of <laughs> characters you know and love, like Mr. Boppo. Look at his teeth. I'm tempted to play. <laughs> so those were our favorites, but we want to know yours. So call 917 fred so we can hear your voicemails, feature them on next week's Notification Squad. Maybe, maybe. Speaking of voicemails, we have some. Moving on to the next segment, voicemails. Voicemails! <laughs> it doesn't have a clever name, it's just voicemails. Just, just, just voicemails. <laughs> voicemails. Yeah. What do we um, got? What was the what was the question from last week? Mm. Favorite cartoon reboots. Reboots. Bingo. I watch, I watch. I was thinking about it. I was like, oh, a viewer <laughs> is now here in the room. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Kate's um, dying. <laughs> Shut up, Cade. <laughs> what did I do? Shut up, Cade. So last week we asked you to call in and let us know what your favorite cartoon reboot is, so let's listen to some voicemails. You can't call now. Oh. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> Hi, Channel Frederator. My name is Sammy, and I think the best cartoon reboot has to be Scooby-Doo Mystery, Inc. 
had great character development for all of the members of the team while still keeping the feel of the original Scooby-Doo and what's new Scooby-Doo. Also, I agree with Kay that Rugrats All Grown Up wasn't that bad. All right, bye. A lot of, yeah. lot of all grown up fans out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, totally agree. I love this uh, version of Scooby Doo. Yeah. I think this is probably my favorite version of Scooby Doo. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. Have you actually have you Uh-oh. read? <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> but there is something I'm not sure if you guys know about. Do you know what Scooby Doo Apocalypse is? Uh, no. That's awesome. What was I've, that? I've read the first volume. What? It's a comic series, uh-huh. which I totally think they should make in a cartoon. Let me see. Put on Adult Swim. You can have that idea. Really? Whoa, oh my god, look at Shaggy! Shaggy looks so good. That, I, oh my I god! Like, yeah, yep. Wow. wow. That's pretty cool. It's, it's like awesome. Like yeah, he's like pretty. Uh, oh my god, look at Fred. Oh yeah. You know, oh. it's funny that you bring this up because this is what Carrie was talking about last week was like, when you're gonna do a reboot, why just do the same thing? Yeah. You know, like change you should it change it. Yeah, yeah, this is completely different. Completely different. It's super yeah. cool though, yeah, I really like it. Hey guys, uh, my name is Ross, and uh, my favorite childhood reboot was The New Adventures of Johnny Quest. Because me and my dad used to watch that together, and he watched the original, and that was one of my biggest childhood memories. So thanks, guys. Bye. I like mm. that when you put your favorite something mm-hmm. with a memory. Mm. I like that. Right. Yeah. No, for sure. I've never seen the show. No, never seen no, it. I've never seen. It. I've, he said this was a reboot, so I've never seen the original either. Right. Uh, the... Wasn't like the reboot actually like a little bit better? In to like the network's like mm. eyes because of stuff, like they took out some stuff and I replaced things. When people always bring up Johnny Quest, you know what I think of? Mm. Johnny Test. Well, yeah, Cade, what are your feelings <laughs> about Johnny <laughs> Test? <laughs> Alyssa knows that I, forget the, uh, I the hate song. Johnny Test, yeah, the American Idiot theme song. I detest uh, little... Johnny Test. Nice pun on those. Uh, it was, <laughs> I don't like it, but Johnny Quest, I love that show. It's a good show. My mom actually loves that show too. Oh. And it's my mom's birthday. Oh, happy birthday! birthday. Oh, we're getting there. Uh. Can't ring the bell. It's <laughs> Can't not, ring the it's bell not for your mom. Birth- it's not for birthdays. No. Hey, this is David Higgins from the Notification Squad, and I think the red bell should be used for every time you guys end a video, you guys do a ding for every subscriber, or at least ten dings every video, every. Week. <laughs> I love that's that dramatic it. Bye. And I really like that laptop with the nylon cat. <laughs> that was amazing. That was good. That was wow. Good. That was, was a lot to that. There was a lot to that voice. I love that. Lot to unpack. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the bell. Every subscriber. For every subscriber, at least ten times every video. Yeah. yeah so I mean, wait, how many? How many ten dings does it take to get to the 1.3 mil? Uh, and all the other channels you could throw in there too. Oh god! Yeah. So Cartoon Hangover, Leaderboard. Oh, I mean all of them that are tied to the network. Come on, uh, we gotta we gotta put oh, that thing to some use. Yeah. My brain hurts. <laughs> we might My need brain hurts. we might need ten bells and Ooh, yeah. and five. People. I like it. Maybe like a symphony. Well, I don't know. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have to take that into consideration <laughs> though. We'll bring it up with um. Corporate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take it up the ladder. I don't have a request right now, but just wanna let you know that. I spent the whole day watching the Turn It Up 107 facts and it's helping me to practice English. So, um, yeah, that's it. See ya. <laughs> oh, that was great. Nice. That's, that's interesting. That didn't that's, answer any question, but I liked it. Yeah. Well, like, that's that's bigger. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that is bigger. That's like next level. 107 facts helping him learn English. That's great. Bigger than or the get video better itself. at it. I yeah. Yes. I should say. Wow. We should note that we have some mispronunciations in some of our videos. Yes. So, <laughs> so be careful. <laughs> and sometimes the, the picture doesn't match the facts. So. <laughs> that's okay. We were wrong. <laughs> oh. Hello, channel Frederator. This is Austin. I just want to say my favorite cartoon reboot would probably have to be absolutely All Grown Up. I agree with you, Alyssa. It's the best. All Grown Up. Let's not sing anymore. Anyways, I would like to see 107 more facts out. Danny Phantom and Ren and Stimpy. Okay, we need those in our life. (laughs) <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice day. And I think the bell should be used for when somebody says something bad about a cartoon. Oh, <laughs> I detest Johnny Test. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's wow. Good. Yeah. Thanks, Austin. <laughs> Austin, great voicemail. And great singing. Yeah. All grown up. I like that show. Yeah, me too. 
Yeah. That's why we talked about it. Not preschool days, though. You oh, see that? you know, I, I try oh, yeah. and uh, blank that mm-hmm. out. Like three episodes of that exist. Rugrats preschool days. <laughs> days. <laughs> Smash! Oh, days, oh, yeah. though, spelled with a Z-E. Oh, yeah. no. Is, are, is That's it how real? it's really spelled? Yeah. Oh, uh, D- day, oh, days. Man. Yeah, the art style is uh, is something. No. Four out of ten I'm glad that doesn't actually exist. Any, yeah. Like, it's not going to happen. Thank you so much for these amazing voicemails. They were A-plus this week. Remember, call in this week and let us know what's your favorite cartoon video game. We're going to feature some voicemails on next week episode. Now, let's jump into some comments. Alright, first comment comes in from Pokemon versus Digimon, and it says, Like this comment if you like Digimon. And a lot of people apparently really do like Digimon, and also directly under that, like this comment if you like Pokemon. And apparently, more people like Digimon than Mm -hmm. Pokemon. I would have never thought that. I'm surprised too. Yeah. Although, I think, um, Adrian, I think, posted these comments, and he edited the Pokemon one, so Mm. it probably said, like, something else. (laughs) Or he switched it. Digimon and Pokemon are switched. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> because it says like this po- uh, mm. like this comment is you liked it. Oh po- come po- on! I messed up. Wow. Mm-hmm. And then Tia Blue comes in. Even Gumball became a Super Saiyan faster than Vegeta. Gonna need a Sensu bean for oh. that one. <laughs> Sheesh. I like the picture. Savage. <laughs> Justin, why don't you read the next one? So the next comment comes from Ziggy Stardust himself, actually. Wow. Crazy. It's surprising. Mm-hmm. And they say, best reboot of Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. Yep. Yeah. I would totally agree. Got Definitely a voicemail wild. around that, too. Yeah. Yeah. 18 people agree, too. <laughs> Clearly, I should not have read this one. Shut uh, up, Cade. Should be a new catchphrase for the show. XT face. It's so good. <laughs> What's so good about it? It's just great. It's three words. Shut and A lot of comments. <laughs> <laughs> a yeah, lot of comments said, shut up, Cade. Uh, but I don't know if they were just like, Carrie is amazing. I'm just going to repeat what she said. This is, <laughs> this is hashtag Cade is a jerk all over again. <laughs> I don't think any of you were here for that. No. Like two people will get that reference. And one of them is Jake from Vsauce 3. Uh, <laughs> the next comment comes from Andrew Pino1234. And they say, you said Bebe wrong. It's pronounced Bebe. And I'm actually happy I, uh, I pronounced it. <laughs> and, then, and then Channel Frederator comes in and says, I knew I got something wrong. Ugh, sorry, everyone. I failed you all. Adrian. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Please forgive him. Yeah. Sometimes we just read things the way that we yeah. really mm. read them. Well, he's you know a what I mean? good guy. He's a solid yeah. guy. Look yeah. at that face. You know, just, <laughs> stuff happens. Like, Look have, at that face. He, he How can you say no to that face? So yeah. <laughs> exactly. So season two, all about new hope, new changes. But we like some old hope and some old changes. Alyssa, we are bringing back an old segment from season one. What is it? Well, glad you asked. It's Notice Me Senpai. And then what? <laughs> and then, Alyssa, what is it? Uh, it's when we shout out one special comment that wants us to notice them. <laughs> yeah, like basically, you know, we feature a lot of comments, right? A ton of them, but yeah. this one is super special, and how are we making it more special? This season and season two, we're turning the volume to 11 because we have the senpai himself. <laughs> dun dun dun. Noticing this comment. I'm not the first, but I'm the 41st. Joel, you've been noticed. So thanks, Joel Bierbauer. I know you're not first, but you're 41st in all of our hearts. You've been noticed. So this next segment is Actually First, where we showcase the comments that were actually versed in our videos. And here they are on the screen. They're great. (laughs) Great people. Good job. (laughs) You did a thing. Congratulations, everyone who is actually first. Uh, I don't know how you do it. Especially you, Ryan Koshal. But, Justin, every week we have the special guest award these mm. fine folks who got actually first something very special. Mm. Sometimes it's stars, mm-hmm. sometimes it's Raspberry Pi, sometimes, sometimes it's, it's pigeons. Police pigeons! Yes! Yeah. Big difference. They're this week. Uh oh. This week, though, mm-hmm. it's gonna be 10 packets of that Szechuan sauce. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's gonna be. Oh, stack them, I mean, stack them, stack them. There you go. So each person gets 10 packets? Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> 10 packets. Wow. Yeah, yeah, 10 packets. <laughs> Sell them for 14,700 on eBay a piece. There you go, Whoa. small fortune. Wow, I like it. It's That's very you. generous of you. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Sounds delicious. Mm. I don't know how anyone's gonna be able to top that. Moving on to the next segment, which is Notification Squad, which is the name of the show. Justin, how do we become a part of Notification Squad? So, to become part of that awesome Notification Squad, what you want to do is first off, subscribe to Channel Frederator, but to take it a step further, click that little bell icon to become part of the Notification Squad. You'll be notified when we upload new videos and all that cool stuff. All that cool stuff. Mm. Great. Excellently Great said. explanation. <laughs> this week's squad leaders who are getting points, Michi, Eli. What's up, Notification Squad? Ooh. Yo, yo. Point for you. 
YNT box notification squad. Where are you at? Well, we're here. Yeah. We are here. Lots of points for everyone. Liam, get a point. Project Worm. I've seen this guy comment yeah. a couple times. Yeah. He sometimes mm. he never gets first, and he's really trying. But I love how he calls out notification squad. I think he'll get it. He'll mm. get it one day for sure. One but he's day. definitely getting points. And Gabby Wagner, of course, getting some points as well. So congratulations to all of you notification squad leaders. I'm telling you, the points are gonna pay off. Mm. Not today. <laughs> Not yesterday. Maybe tomorrow. At some point. <laughs> We're still figuring out what we want to do with these points. True. Season two, again, all about New Hope, new changes. We're working on it. The producers are uh, on their electronics trying to figure out what to do with these points. Mm -hmm. Well, that rounds out this week's episode of Notification Squad. Justin, thank you so much yes. for joining us on the show. No problem. It was a lot of fun. It was so much fun mm. because this is the funnest show on the web. I would yes. say, yeah. yeah. So many comments we've read, <laughs> so many voicemails we've played. But don't forget to call in 917-408-FRED and answer this week's question, which is... What is what your, your favorite, favorite cartoon video game? Yeah, well done. <laughs> Bravo. Terrible. It's not Bravo. like we've been sitting here. Also, let us know what this bell is for. We still don't know. Yeah, we, please. Mm, we yeah. really want to We have know. some great ideas. And the points. We don't know what those are for either. Yeah. yeah. So please also leave voicemails with that. Absolutely. And remember, Frederator, Frederator loves, loves you. you. Nailed it. Good job. But Woo! Justin, your work here is not done. Aww. You have <laughs> 17 seconds to read this week's schedule, which may or may not be changed because sometimes things happen. Ready, set, go. So on Monday, we have Pop Culture References and Miraculous Ladybug. On Tuesday, we have 107 Facts on Charter, which I actually did. <laughs> Wednesday, we got Disney's Dark Secrets on Pocahontas. Thursday, we have Cars Killed Humans. Friday, we got a one of seven on Chalk Zone, which is a really great show. Saturday, we have characters only 90s kids will know. So if you're a Woo! 90s kid...